beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful blue super form with in aquarius 2024 i do hope you're all well and you're managing at this time and you're staying focused believing and trusting in that deep and knowing that unexplainable love that's within you for this reading i'm going to be finding out four things that your higher self wants you to know so I'm going to pick four cards and I'm going to use the Moonology Manifestation Oracle deck. And then I'm going to bring in the Moonology Oracle cards, the original deck. So I'm going to pick two from the Manifestation deck and two from the original deck. I will get messages from your other self, from your twin flame as well, to see what wants to be expressed in this energy of the full moon in Aquarius. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to bring in the soul connections when two hearts meet. To give you a message from higher power, from God, from the universe, whatever word resonates with you and you're more comfortable with. To give you a message of strength that's going to help you remain in your truth, to move forward on your journey, trusting that deep and knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. I'm going to start with the Moonology Manifestation Oracle deck. So what is the first message your higher self, your true self has for you at this time of the blue super full moon in aquarius 2024 what's coming through thank you to all of you for all the love and support that you continuously give me i'm so very grateful to each one of you and if you would like support on your awakening journey so this one wanted to come because it flipped keep your heart open at this time this is what your true self your higher self is saying to you and it's a full first quarter moon in libra which is air energy so you could be libra gemini or aquarius um but none of none of that matters in fact um if you're, you're not those zodiac signs um this is just the energy as well air energy so you could be have very tempted to be in your head at this time because air energy is the sword energy where we're just in our heads um and you know overthinking your true self is saying, keep your heart open at this time. So there's too many that actually flipped out then. I need one more card. What's the second message that your true self, your higher self wants you to know at this time? Nice, clear message. And as I was saying, if you would like support on your awakening journey... I am offering one-to-one -one sessions, personal readings, um, if you're ready for change and to take responsibility of yourself. But everything you do need to know is in the description box down below. So what is the second message? Nice, clear message, please, from your higher self, from your true self. You need to keep your heart open and make time for your self-love. <laughs> And both of these cards are, you know, I've got a lot of violet, um, light pink, purple, um, which is crown chakra, third eye chakra. Um, so you could have a lot of pressure on your head at this time as well. And we've got Libra again, which Libra is about balance, having this balance with your higher self and your ego. So don't allow your ego, old self to rule. It's important as well that you don't spend too much time in the 5D where you're floating about and you're not actually taking any action. It's a time to be grounded, but for you to have your heart open and to have this awareness and to make time for yourself. Otherwise, that's when everything does get out of control and out of balance. And what isn't in balance? Is going to be shown to you at this time but this is what your higher self your true self wants you to know um and at the bottom of the deck of where i picked that card it is last quarter moon in pisces so pisces cancer and scorpio coming through as well emotional at this time and it's about talking less and feeling more so this time with yourself being quiet being still is so important because that's when you can allow yourself to feel come away from the busyness of everything that your ego is coming in and saying that you've got to do this is more important at this time and remember self-love is very deep it isn't just about going for, to a spa day 
and having a massage, having your nails done or, you know, treating yourself to a beautiful hot chocolate or whatever it is that you actually do to treat yourself. Um, those things are important, yes, but this is about you being with yourself and going deeper, taking this responsibility. That is self-love. We are misled at times with things that we come across on the internet where we just think, oh yeah, everything's going to be okay because I'm going to look in the mirror and say that I love myself and I'm going to go and have a, a massage. Like I said, it's so much deeper than that. It's about spending time with you, <laughs> going deep within yourself, connecting with you, who you truly are. And that's when you can keep your heart open. And there may be some things that are going to be happening around this time where it could be challenging. For you to be able to dilute the challenge um, is for you to have this heart perspective, to put love into the situation. And you can only have your heart open when you're giving this time to yourself, when you're giving love to yourself, because you don't need anything outside of you and you respond just naturally from love because you've got it for yourself. So have awareness of different things that are happening in your life and make sure that you are responding with love. And the purple, the lilac, the violet is about what Archangel Michael really supporting you at this time, helping you cut that doubt, the fear and what no longer serves you, what you're no longer aligned with out of your life and protecting you. So what is the third message from your higher self, your true self? What is it that you need to know at this time? And we don't hear our true self, our higher self at times because of the busyness of what's going on outside of us. So these messages are very special. So what's the third message? And number three is about strong faith. Let's see. Conclusions are within reach, full moon in eclipse, and we're very close to eclipse season now as well. So the answers are within reach, and when you're having this time with yourself, that is where the answers are within yourself. And when you're giving this self-love to yourself, everything just becomes so much clearer. <laughs> the blurry vision, the uncertainty, the fear, of not knowing what's next on your journey. It dissolves. And all the things that you have been seeking outside of you, something is coming to light, things are gonna get clearer for you. Is what your higher self wants you to know. And this is message number four. Emotions are running high. Yeah. So be aware. This isn't a time to be busy or to get caught up in chaos um, outside, you know, going to busy places, all of those things, it's time to be quiet and allow your emotions to rise. Allow yourself to feel these emotions because your emotions are gonna be rocked at this time. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, which is an extra message, is adjustments are required, third quarter moon. Um, and we've got the super moon here, which this is a super moon and, it's, and this is a full moon eclipse as well. You know what these adjustments are because your, your higher self is nudging you. So don't be distracted anymore. Listen and make these necessary adjustments because that's going to open so much up for you. When we have a full moon, everything is illuminated and amplified. And because it's a super full moon it will feel extremely intense but that's okay there's nothing to be afraid of remember you are safe and you are always protected so let's see what your twin flame your other self wants you to know at this time so i'm going to bring in messages from your other self my deck that i created and if any of you guys are interested in any of the decks that i've created the website that you can purchase them from is in the description box down below. So what is it you're... Right, so lots fell out, so I'm going to take them. I don't need to pick any more. So we've got... I can feel your energy at this time during this full moon in Aquarius. You are all I'll ever need. 
that's what you're realizing beautiful soul that's watching that you all you need is yourself to be on your own side to have this inner peace as i mentioned just a minute ago and i would love to swim in this river with you so to have this urge to swim in water with you so this may be something that you've done in the past together you and your other self um, or you know it doesn't have to be in the river it could be in you know in the ocean and if you haven't yet experienced this this is something that your twin flame thinks about a lot and they want to to be able to do with you is to swim in the river and recently water has been coming through in the readings so you may have that urge to spend time in water around this time of the full moon um, and having salt baths, um, showers, just being near water because it is very therapeutic and it, it does give us this deep cleanse as well when we go into the ocean or we, we go into the river. Um, just thinking of you fills me with butterflies. I get so excited when I think about you, but I get very anxious as well. <laughs> And I feel that this time you're, you are going to feel anxious because of the energies. And we do have five planets that are in retrograde. There is a lot going on with the planets and we're building up to the eclipse season as well. Um, so, you know, in your solar plexus, there could be a lot going on. Like your twin, when they're thinking about you, they feel this excitement and nervous because so much is changing in their life and when they're thinking about what's next and they know that things are going to be changing between you and them in the 3d and the physical it makes them feel nervous and this anxiety um and i know that we will be t together which is going to go in the center i know that we're going to be together and I know that you are the person that I want to be with. And I'm really feeling your energy at this time. Um, but I'm excited and nervous at the same time. And I'd love to be able to swim in the river and lake with you. So now I'm going to get messages from higher power, from God, from the universe to give you a message of strength. And I'm using soul connections when two parts meet. So what is the message of strength that's going to help you? remain in your truth spiritual just flipped onto the canvas so i don't need to pick one your spirit your spiritual journey is beginning yes and you could be saying to yourself well my spiritual journey started years and years and years ago or months ago we have many awakenings and we're always going through cycles ending and cycles beginning and you're in this time of rebirth and this new beginning opening up to the new you're ascending higher so you're moving up a level and when we're going through that and opening up to this new beginning it feels like we've gone backwards and we can't manage because it gets more intense that's because you're closing a tough cycle and when you're going through this and it feels like a struggle Remember, you're only given what you can manage. And because of everything that you have been through and all of the tools that you've gained on the way, the strength that you now have, what you've learned, what you've received, the sacred wisdom, the sacred knowledge, all of that is going to help you, whatever it is that could feel difficult for you at this time. So you will get through it. And you're not going backwards, you're ascending, you're moving up, as I said earlier. So the message of strength is a new beginning is opening up for you. However it seems in the 3D, in the physical, and however tough it feels to ego, everything is working out for you and opening up for you. So the four messages that you need to remember Message number one is keep your heart open, wide. Make this time for self-love, to be with yourself. Conclusions are within reach. Things are going to become clearer to you. And emotions are going to be running high. But these emotions 
or meant to be felt. So don't be afraid. And your twin flame feeling anxious and excited at the same time. Um, and they're very clear on who you are and what they will ever need. And that is you. So thank you so much for joining me today for this blue super full moon in Aquarius 2024. I do hope that you are going to take good care of yourself at this time and listen to these messages from your true self, from your higher self. And as I mentioned, if you would like support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. But most importantly, stay focused, believe and trust in that deeper knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you, no matter what is going on outside of you, keep your heart open. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See you.